Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to Parsons Productions. We've got an exciting video for today. So, we got Yol Z out back and barely running. She is my daily again. You can see those wheels looking stupid fresh. We've got a ton of things to do today. That's locked. Well, we have air conditioning to do. We've got more wheel spacers. We're gonna do the radio today as well. And uh, hopefully we'll do that all before it gets dark. What do you think? Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do today is the radio. So I have uh, my MVH 300EX Pioneer double din. It's all touchscreen. I had this in my Mustang, my New Edge Mustang at first. Then I put it in my old Civic. And now it's going into the Z. The Z is just gonna be my fun weekend car, so I don't really mind. Uh, with it, I have the adapter harness, uh, adapter harness, which is right here. That's for the 2003 Nissan 350Z. And then I also have the uh, dash insulation kit, the radio bezel. So it comes with that little piece right there. It comes with that little uh, outline, which fixes right like so. And then I also have these two that will go to the side like that. So let's go ahead and install this. So the first things first I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and take off the old Honda Civic radio bezel, because that's the one that went on my 06 Civic. Uh, this one should fit the Z pretty well. I'm gonna undo that one, undo this side as well. And then this new one bolts up just like so. And how does this go? So we'll put that like that. That goes around like that, I want to say. And now maybe it's this one. Oof, I don't like that at all. There it goes. That fits just like that. And then these ones should bolt up something like so. A lot of things are wrong with you, Anton. That's what we love about you. Thanks, man. All right, so that's gonna go like that. Anton, come look how nice it's looking. That looks pretty nice. Doesn't it? All right, it's ready for install. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unscrew the shift knob. After that, we're gonna go ahead and take this little guy off. And then this whole thing should pop up like that. Very good, good job, Tony. After that. Mm. Come on, you. All right, that unplugs like so. We'll put that aside. And then this whole thing should just pop off as well. And then there is our radio. Oh, it's got some screws. I don't wanna let that dangle. Let that dangle. Let's patch the interior. Clean the interior. The interior is the most important part. Oh, by the way, the BRZ comes tomorrow at 3. You excited? Sick. Yeah, I'll be at work, but let me know how it goes. This nasty harness of death will pop out like... You're gonna hear the, the slurping in the background. I'm sure you make that better. Fuck you. Yeah! Alright. Now we gotta figure out our wiring harness situation. Alrighty, so this is the harness for the radio. We're gonna go ahead and pull the old harness apart, which is the one from the Civic. I'm just gonna go like that. I want it to look clean. Okay, so what's gonna go on here is there's a little diagram uh, here. These wires are all labeled. So literally it's just a plug and play uh, type system. Uh, Anton's taken those tips off and then we'll use uh, these crimp connectors like these 
to uh, fasten it up. Alrighty, so we have the wiring harness all complete. I'm going to plan on wire, um, excuse me, I can't even talk. I'm planning on wire, uh, wire wrapping this, but we're gonna make sure it works first and then we'll play around with it. So my ground is not yet grounded, but we'll see what happens here in a second. Hopefully these work. I just order them off to Amazon, so we'll see what happens. Let me put them that way. What the heck? Oh, huh. works and that one works let's plug this boy in you're gonna have to keys. ground that before you try and start it keys have the keys right here yeah where should we ground it Put this way. You good? No. Put it any piece of metal. Yes, Captain. <gasps> wow! We did it! Let's see, English. Where's my phone? Is it around here? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I forgot the AC comes on full blast when we don't. It's not plugged in. It smells like swamp. Alright, well, cool. This works. Um, let's go ahead and find a spot for ground, and then we'll work this out. Well, sweet. We got that all taken care of. Alrighty, so now that the uh, radio's in, we're going to go ahead and tackle the AC. So here's the high port, and here's the low port. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop that low port cover off. And then right here, I bought some R134A refrigerant. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the car and plug this Johnson in, and that should uh, take care of it. All right, so the car is now running. We've got our AC gauge right here. It's showing roughly in the green, which is all right, but I want it colder. So I'm gonna go ahead and tip it upside down. Looks like a recharged AC. All right, so next up on the list for today, we have these wheel spacers. These are off of a, another 350Z, the same year, make and model. Um, they are some thick ones, about, I'd say, three quarters of an inch. Um, but I think those should space those wheels out rather nicely. Let's go right down there. And yeah, let's put these on. Take note, guys. God is watching. Would you just look at these? These are just wonderful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these little tiny lugs, we're going to put those on, and then uh, we'll put these lugs back on the actual wheel. Continue. That one, that's a spacer. Good fitment, good fitment. And here, the front, yeah, not as great fitment. That 50 millimeter was spicy, I like it. Alrighty, it's now dark. However, the wheel spacers are all on. They look clean. You can see the little boys in there. Looking good, looking good in the rear. At the other side here. Nice, nice. That concludes it for this video of Parsons Productions. See you next time.